I'm actually doing my very first ever Q&A. Hey guys, back! welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, November 21st and it's 6.23 a.m. I just got back from the gym. Um, basically did my same full body circuit as I did last week. So I wasn't going to film for you guys because it was the same thing over again. Um, a couple weeks back, I posted this picture on Instagram asking you guys to comment on any questions that you may have about anything. Um, so let's get started my first Q&A. So Dalip1 asks, what is more important for you, a healthy body or a healthy mind? Um, I think it's both. Um, both are very important. I think they go hand in hand. Um, if you don't have a healthy mind, I feel like you're not going to be in the right place to have a healthy body. Um, and you know, what I mean by healthy body is not really just having a six pack and, um, being fit with like cut with your arms and your muscles showing, just really eating healthy and, um, making sure that your health is in good standing, um, which I think your mind is, is just as important to have it healthy. Um, if you're not in the right state of mind, like if you're, if you're having issues with yourself, um, whether it be body, uh, issues or lots of anxiety, lots of stress, I feel it's n not going to, um, let you be healthy either, not have a healthy body. So I just think that both things are important and, um, number one is you and make sure that you're healthy. Number two is from Myra Camaro and she asked, how did you find and narrow it down to the beautiful destination wedding you chose? Well, um, that was kind of, um, not really a challenge, it was an experience. Um, we visited three different states. We went to South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia, um, all on Labor Day weekend of last year. We visited venues in all those places, um, and then we kind of narrowed it down by price, really. Um, but we also knew that we wanted something completely different than Miami, and we knew f to begin with that we wanted destination. That was number one, and we wanted something that instead of just you know a couple of hours, four hours with you know people and that's it you kind of all right the wedding's over we wanted to be an experience a uh, weekend for everyone to remember forever and have a lot of memories um and everyone just have a great time so the destination we chose which was high hampton in um and country club in cashers north carolina we chose it because everyone got to stay in the same resort and um and then we could do exactly what we wanted, which was everyone be there the entire weekend. And we got to play games one day. Um, we were constantly always everyone together. And I think something else that helped, that helped um, was that there wasn't really much to do in the town. It's a very small town. As opposed to, we really liked a venue in Savannah, but Savannah's a city. So a lot of the guests were not going to be you know they were going to be out and about in savannah doing things and that's not really what we wanted um we wanted it just to be a moment that everyone that's there you know really loves us and really is there for us so you know let's be everyone together um you know they made the trip they made um all those expenses for us so we wanted to really make them feel like family and at home and we um we're constantly doing things with them so I think it was um, I think it captured everything that we wanted pretty amazing I do like think that everyone if you can afford it it's actually not even that much more expensive than a wedding here in Miami um, but definitely have a destination wedding it's it's so much more magical I feel and you know I'm gonna have these memories forever and it's not just a couple of hours and, you know, it's just I got to be with everyone the entire, you know, four days and we got to do different things. So I honestly, like, everyone wants to go back for our one-year anniversary 
everyone's like, hey, can we come back with you guys? Um, so if we decide to go there, I think we're gonna have a second wedding. Um, besides the fact that my family's crazy, I mean, even everyone at the hotel was telling me, or at the resort was telling me that they've never seen um, a wedding that at the cocktail hour, people are dancing. So that just goes to show you what type of weekend we had. But it was really amazing and I'm so, so glad that I chose High Hampton Inn. And actually, actually, it was Kevin that chose it. So let's give him his props. Guys, I'm back. It's 8, 12 p.m. and um, I'm going to finish up some questions and answers here. Um, someone asked, they want to stay anonymous, how did Kevin and I meet? Well, Kevin and I met at one of my friend's quinceañeras. Um, if you're in the Hispanic culture, you celebrate your 15s and you do like this huge party with partners and you do this whole um, dance number. So he was my partner. He wasn't supposed to be my partner. I was actually going to have a basketball player since I'm so tall. But um, he actually had to go. He had like some tournament or whatever the day of the party. So he couldn't make it. Um, so then Kevin ended up dancing with me. Um, I didn't like him. He of course liked me. What's there not to like? <laughs> Just kidding. He was kind of after me. Um, and I like somebody else. Then finally for my best friend's birthday party, her, um, we were dating, we were talking, and her sister's kind of like, hey, why don't you ask her out already? So he did, March 1st, 2003. That's when we became boyfriend and girlfriend. I kind of felt bad for him, so I just said yes. And I was like, I'm gonna break up with him in a week. And 13 years later, in a marriage, still with him. So that's kind of how we met. We haven't broken up once, knock on wood. I don't think that was wood, but um, we are basically high school sweethearts. So that's how Kevin and I met. And tomorrow is actually going to be one month that we're married. So it looks like I was kind of picking my boogers, but one month. Number five asks, what got you into the fitness field? Um, I used to do pageants. Uh, I started a, when I was about 15, I started doing pageants and, um, I really love being on stage. I had danced most of my life. Um, so I, I really liked that aspect of it. And once I hit about 26, that's kind of where pageantry ends. Like that's your cutoff line, 26, you're too old to keep on competing. Um, and I still felt like I had something in me, fire in me to be on stage. And um, at the time, the Miss New York USA, her name is Joanna. She has a very weird last name that I can't pronounce. Snyoski, whatever. She was also doing NPC competitions. And I said, well, if she's doing this, then, you know, I could be able to do it too. So um, I started doing some more research and I was like, you know what, this isn't bad. Um, pageantry got me to really, really enjoy, actually love fitness. Um, for my very last competition, Miss Florida USA, um, completely transformed my body. And I, it just opened a whole new world to me. Um, and I wanted to keep on with that. So I decided to do my very first NPC competition and I won my class so i was like i need more and that's just how it just started unfolding next question why the hashtag beauty turned beast and this is by emily luca um the hashtag beauty turned beast actually began because a friend of mine was doing um a project like uh, she's studying journalism and she had to do a project on somebody and um, she chose to do it on me and my story through fitness, through pageantry and all my struggles, um, having arthritis. So she kind of just used the hashtag of beauty term beast in her project and I really, really liked it. And um, I just started incorporating it in everything of my branding and um, I think it really just 
embodies what I am. Like I used to be all, you know, oh, beauty queen, you know, little prissy girl. And once I get to the gym, it's like beast mode. Nobody talked to me. I'm throwing weights around, you know, um, being one of the guys. I love the smell of, of iron on your hands. So kind of thought that beauty turn beast really personifies who I am. He asks, me? Is that how you say? My? Me42 asks, why Monica with the K? Um, Monica with a K. Actually, it all started because of my dad. Um, my dad's name is Waldo. Where's Waldo? So, he had awful names. He wanted to either call me Waldina, BMW, Mercedes, um, you name it. The worst names in the world. Thankfully, my sister saved me and told him, there's no way in hell you're going to name her that. So, um, at the hospital where I was born at, he, my mom was, or had just given labor or was in the middle of giving labor, I don't know. And he went downstairs to get coffee and the coffee machine was Monica with a K. So he came upstairs and told my mom, that's what we're naming her, Monica with a K. And I kind of like it. I don't know. I feel like the C, it doesn't look as good as the K. Monica with a K, it gives it like, I don't know, the M is, is tall. So I think the K being tall, it looks all together, I don't know. <laughs> I make no sense, but I like my name Monica with a K. This, you guys are asking me like all these questions to really get to know me, that's really good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Miba207 asks, why did you decide to start running? Uh, very good question. Um, I have no idea. Who would want such torture? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually decided to run because my entire family was going to do the marathon and I'm very, very family oriented. So I decided that I wasn't going to be left behind. So I also decided to get in on it. Um, and I also think that the challenge of doing something completely different other than bodybuilding is also good to switch it up sometimes and really see how far you can challenge yourself and what your limits are. Um, so I'm really enjoying it because we do this as a family. Every Saturday we all get together and we run all our long miles and then we go have breakfast and we sit down about and complain about how awful it went or how good it went and you know we're constantly giving each other tips and it's it's really a good way to keep your family together and, and um, really have something that we can all relate to. So that's one of the major reasons why I did the running. And the second would be to see how far I can take myself. I have done the half marathon before, never a full. So this is going to be something different for me. The most that I've done in training so far has been 14 miles. Um, I'm a little bit terrified, I'm not going to lie, of going all the way to do 26. So let's see. Mentally, I think it's more of a challenge for me than anything. Um, so I'm just going to take it for the ride and see what happens. Um, should be really interesting. I don't know if anybody else runs or is a runner. Um, I think that 95, 75, maybe even 95% of running is a mental game. And sometimes I mentally just psych myself out and um, I kind of have to catch it and be like, no, you, you're stronger than what you think. Um, and keep going. But I definitely, definitely like the challenge. So that's it for my questions. Um, I hope you guys can, next time that I do another Q&A, we have such amazing questions like we did this time. I'm so glad you guys got to see a little bit about me and who I am and, um, and come into my life. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Love ya. Bye.